This is why you need to start using Filmora from now on, because in this video, I'm about to show you some of the best features in Filmora that you really need to start using in your editing workflow. Otherwise, you will be left behind. So without any delay, let's see why Filmora is getting insane day by day. They have added some insane tools which I'm going to show you. So the first tool is the pen tool, and this is going to be the best tool for motion or documentary style editors. When it comes to making map animations, this tool is goaded. Let me show you with an example. So I have added this map chart on my timeline, and we're going to use the pen tool for map highlight animation. First, pull the anchor point a little forward, then add two keyframes on position and scale. After that, pull back the anchor point at zero seconds. Now increase the scale size like this and adjust the position accordingly. Now to make it professional, we're going to add a graph to it. On your timeline clip, click this icon and you'll see the graph editor opens. Apply ease in on Y and X position and ease out on height and width. As you can see the difference. Now we're going to use the pen tool for map highlighting. To enable the pen tool, click on this icon, then tap on pen tool. Now we'll be able to start adding dots on the map like this. Add dots like this carefully. Okay, I have added all the dots as you can see. Now on your left side, you can do all adjustments like transform, adding glow, stroke, radius, feather, intensity, and more. Okay, now this is where the magic happens. Go to trim path and add one keyframe on end, make the value zero, and move a little forward and increase it to 100 again. As you can see, with that we can create a map highlight animation. To make it even better, we'll enable the fill option and add a fade in animation by keyframing opacity. Also, change its color to red. We could also add text on it, mentioning China like this, and give it a fade in animation. To make it more cinematic, we are going to add some clouds on it. Let me just do the keyframing. Okay, the keyframing is done, but you can see our timeline is filled with too many layers because of these cloud overlays. But it's not a problem. In Filmora, you can make a compound layer and separate the cloud timeline layer from the main timeline. Let me show you. Select all cloud layers and right click. Here you can see create compound layer. Click on it and you can see it merges everything. And from here you can adjust everything inside the compound layer or you can just drag this main timeline like this and it will create a dual timeline like this where you can edit both timeline layers at the same time, which is crazy. Now here's our final look of the map animation. You can see how simple that is. You can also make this kind of map animation highlighting the roots. You can use the pen tool not only in map animations, but also in your football edits. Let's see. You can use it to mark goal direction like this. As you can see, I created this football goal direction using the pen tool. All right. Our next tool is Animated Chart, which is another crazy tool for documentary style editors. With this, you can make chart animations within seconds. Let me show you how this works. To make an animated chart, go to the Effects section. Now tap on Exclusive, and you will find Animated Chart. You can see there are tons of animated charts here like progress bars, donut charts, line graphs, bar graphs, and many more. And this is not the end. From the left side, you can customize your graph according to your needs, like changing the color, bar shape, data points, labels, position, width, size, canvas, legends, etc. Not only these, you can give it animation also. By clicking on data, you can change your data values or just upload an XLSX or CSV file data, and it will automatically input the data from the sheet into the animated chart, as you can see. Our next tool is text to image, or you can say image to image. On Filmora, you don't just make edits. You can use AI to make your editing workflow faster. And I'm saying this because you can now use Google Nano Banana inside Filmora. Follow me up. Let me show you how I'm going to use Nano Banana inside Filmora. First, click on Stock Media, then AI Media. You will see you can do lots of things with AI, like making image to video with literally Google VO3, start and end video, reference to video, and more. For now, we'll choose text to image, and here you'll find the Nano Banana model. I have added my own image I previously made with Nano Banana, 
and added this prompt where I tell it to convert that image where the man is thinking something and hit generate. Within a few seconds, it gave me this output. You can see the consistency on the character is accurate. Now another tool which I really like is AI Extend. With this tool, you can add missing video parts to your video. Check it out. I have this car footage and I want to extend the video duration a little bit more. All I need to do is click on this option. It will enable AI Extend. Then go to the last frame of the video and drag it like this around three to five seconds. Now select the camera movement from here. I selected pan right and just left the prompt section empty and hit generate. Let's see what we got. So this output is awesome. It made the car design consistent as well as the background, which is pretty good. Now move on to another feature, which is straight competition to After Effects, Smart Cutout. I have edited this video and wanted to remove the background of the video. So for that, we click on AI Matting, then Smart Cutout. Paint a little bit on our character like this and click Smart Cutout Start. It will start analyzing the selected area, and here we got a clean cutout of our character. If you edited your project previously and want to add it to the current timeline, you can do that too. Go to File, click on Subprojects, and import your previously made project file directly from your drive. Next tool is Dynamic Captions, which will really help podcast editors. I have got this footage of Ronaldo and Piers Morgan's podcast and wanted to add captions. I simply go to Text, Dynamic Text. From here, choose the clip you want to convert. I selected the whole clip. Then transcript language. Leave it to auto detect. Then translate to, also leave it to auto detect. Click generate. It generates the caption as you can see. Select the text and from here you can edit the text. There are tons of templates here you can use. This one looks good. Let's apply it to all and here's the final result. Bloomberg did this report and you were declared the first ever football billionaire. The first ever. And there are a very small number of sporting icons who have passed that mark in other sports. Tiger Woods, uh, Roger Federer, um, you could talk about uh, Michael Jordan, but there are very few, Cristiano. You in could football, end, I'm the only one. You're the only one in football. Does that mean a lot to you to be the only one? So this is the new Filmora 15 update that is actually insane, to be honest. If they add null objects in their app in the next update, that will be straight competition to After Effects, I guess. Try these effects in Filmora and let me know how good they are. I will see you in the next video.